Now, President Trump is delivering on another campaign promise. He said he'd cut funding to the UN. And now the United States has withdrawn $32 million support for the UN agency that promotes family planning in more than 150 countries. The State Department has blamed the United Nations Population Fund for supporting or participating, in its words, in Chinese programs of coercive abortion or sterilization. Well, with me now is Tawadros Malese, who's Director General of the International Planned Parenthood uh, Foundation. Um, can I ask you first about that allegation of involvement with Chinese programs of forced abortion? Well, uh, you know, to start with, the United Nations agencies, they don't have their own policies. It is the world globally which has agreed the Sustainable Development Goals or the United Nations Population Program. So the UNFPA, what it is doing engaging with various governments, over 150, for people to make a choice of their reproductive health rights, to have children when they want and if they need it. The Chinese policy is an internal, but UNFPA does not make the policy of the Chinese government. In fact, the engagement with the Chinese government and sharing of the experiences with other countries has enabled even for the liberalization of the China family planning policy from one child now to two. That is a positive engagement. And it's not true. UNFPA is not supporting that. UNFPA is not engaged in such kind of activity. So you're saying that things would be worse in China in terms of lack of choice All over if the you world. weren't involved? Yes. All over the world, the choices knowing what are the experiences of the other countries within the South-South cooperation, North-South partnership, within the United Nations framework, a policy dialogue, that's what it takes place. When the world came to agree on sustainable development goals, having two main goals related to sexual reproductive health, that is a world consensus. That's not UNFPA's program. The State Department is saying that the money is not being taken away from women's health. It'll be used by the U.S. Agency for International Development to support family planning and maternal health. So they've, they've taken money from you, but they say it's still going to women and to families. Is that right? No, because the thing is, the effect is the agency which has got the mandate of the United Nations about family planning, reproductive health, is UNFPA. And us as a civil society, the International Planned Parenthood, which is existing in over 170 countries, we make sure that individuals have got the choices. That's the whole debate. By refusing to do that, for example, we are going to be losing over 100 million US dollars. And that, you know, what's going to be resulting in one year alone, 20,000 maternal days, 4.8 unintended pregnancies, and 1.7 million unsafe abortions. And this government is saying is to prevent abortion, but in fact it is contributing to an increase in abortion. Well, we have to leave it there, but thank you very yeah. much for coming in to watch us. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you.